hello there and welcome back so in this video i wanted to show you briefly some functionalities of bruschetta board and also present you another toy which i released in open hardware uh, on github is called pizza bite you can see here uh, i will show you li later on more in details because of course from the top view is quite annoying but let me let me tell you that you know these tools are quite you know qu quite nice i developed them just you know for both my own personal use and to share with the community so first let, let's look at the bruschetta board so if i switch screen here you can see that on github we have uh, an entire repository about bruschetta board and you know description about its functionalities what is bruschetta board is pretty much a multi-protocol uh, swiss army knife that can be used for hacking iot um, and hardware you know devices it supports jtag URT, SWD, I2C, and SPI. And the most important part is that it's multi-level. It mounts level shifters or you know, level, logical level buffers, which allows you to attack, to hack devices that uses different, may have different uh, logical levels, like five volts, 3.3, 2.5, 1.8. So by moving the jumper here you can select between them how to move between uh, protocols actually um, sorry protocols how to to switch from one protocol to another well the, the story is very simple uh, you have to switch uh, the s1 and s2 deep switches uh, on and off and depending depending on the mode you want to use most of the time you will use probably two of the four modes available there either the mode two so where s1 is on and s2 is off like we are doing right now or both uh, switches uh, deep switches uh, on as one on and two on which is URT and JTAG enabled at the same time so as I said now we have uh, the mode uh, in uh, mode 2 so S1 on S2 off yes um, so going back to main page of Bruschetta board as I said supports different protocols and different logical levels uh, to switch off them between them you need to use these um, these switches and also what is important is the once you use the you know the, the Bruschetta board to dump read SPIs either with this SPI clip here uh, by using also like a something like this one sub a clip you know attach to the right position in here and then you know attach this to the to a classic sub 8 clip you can use also sub 16 of course the thing is that uh, once you want to use the um, SPI uh, functionality you need to select a, a chip select so here I expose two different chip selects CS0 and CS1 by default uh, as our coded flash ROM uses CS0 uh, so just keep the jumper in this position CX and CS0 must be connected with shorts sh shorted with the with the jumper so said that anyway let, 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 let me give you a, a short overview of how bruschetta works uh, bruschetta board works so first of all um, soft softwares we have uh, it supports different tools uh, both on windows and linux like you know flash rams um, and open ocd are working perfectly you just need to compile the ones i added in the um, in the archives here in the repository and for windows we have tools as well like open ocd precompile and other tools um, and as well as for flash RAM, you know for windows so it's everything should work pretty much fine and um, what happens when you plug uh, actually is already plugged in now and is recognized as you know as um, URT SPI and I to see actually if we do LS USB you will see here probably as well yeah here it is so and uh, the device itself is called ACM0 so if we do sudo screen dev TI ACM0 will try to connect it to the through 
um, pizza bite uh, probes, which I will show you later on, uh, to the to the target device. So now let me power it off just to show you what happens. Turn on the device. Okay, screen is activated, and now we can. Okay, now if we press four, okay, we are in the in some menu. As you can see, we got into some um, classic U-boot menu, so we're we'll not spend too much time here. We just drop to into U-boot mode, and here we can do whatever we want. So nothing very, um, very strange, right? So let me turn off the target now, and let me show you also. Wait, I'm switching here. Let me show you how it looks like. Let me turn it off. Let me show you how it looks like. Bruschetta. Or let me disconnect here and show you pizza pie. So first of all, these are the focus. This is how it looks, a pizza pie. It's practically uh, open hardware, open source cheaper version of Sensipic PCB byte and uh, it, it has logo pins on it and 90 degrees um, pin headers to solder actually I created two version here you can break it there is a, sm a smaller version and uh, here the smaller one and the big one the large one here use different Pogo pins, these are just the large ones, but you can use smaller ones like, you know, let me show you. There are all details on GitHub actually. So these are the two different types of Pogo pins. In fact, if I switch to screen, I can show you here is the GitHub repo I created. So you just need to go to the usual with injector uh, account and then go on the, on the pizza byte repository. So here there is all description, URLs of things you need. So this one you just need to print with GLC PCB and, uh, and then just, you know, uh, mount it up. I, will, I also released the KiCad PCB design file in a way that if you want to modify something, you are free to, to do so. Just, you know, just remember to, you know, if you improve make some in good improvements for our community just remember to, to push a commit or open an issue and then you know i will review it and either uh, add it to the main branch or create a, another branch for it so yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to show you regarding pizza buy this is a very new uh, way of uh, and cheaper one to get you know um sense a pick uh, pc byte at home so uh, of course sense byte sense sense pick pc byte is is very good uh, but i also know that not everyone can afford them so th this is you know an acceptable balance between you know being affordable and you having some tools that work out of the box or almost out of the box or with basic you know soldering skills uh, said so that, let me show you how it works. Um, another example of bruschetta board, how it works with flash ROM maybe. Yeah, let's dump an SPI. So as you can see here, we have two different types of, let me remove some stuff. We have two different types of uh, sockets. One has SOP8 and the other is a SOP16. So let's try to dump a SOP8 uh, SPI flash. Actually, it was extracted from a laptop quite recently. So it should contain some BIOS if I remember correctly. Okay, let's put it like this. Mm -hmm. We 
did I put it correctly? It looks like so. Let me see. Well, first of all, I need to plug it back correctly. there let me see oh okay it is reading so we found a windbot flash as we expected so now let's try bin um, sudo bin walk bin walk no without extracting we just want to see what is inside sp dump There is plenty, a lot of stuff Microsoft related to. So it's definitely a UA, UE FI firmware BIOS. So all good here. So let's try now with a with a I2C EEPROM. This is an I2C EEPROM. So we can switch to the I2C. Let's try this one. Okay, that was super fast. Received. Okay, so looks good. So let's do x dump rnc um, i to c. Yeah, definitely dump some stuff as you can see here. There was some, you know, blob of test. So everything works fine. So as you can see here, uh, I managed to read everything. Of course, I could just now try to attempt to attach this and play with the jtag but you know i just leave this to you for fun if you ever are planning to have uh, one of these uh, bruschetta boards with you and um, before leaving you i just wanted to show you my last uh, creation which is um my trainings so um this very brief you know advertisement but you know uh, just for your information on weed.ninja slash store there are some trainings i i self-paced trainings that i published uh, very recently and I, I believe are quite nice not just because of the content that is not only the usual you know material but there are some other stuff like you know talking more about mmc's fault injections introduction um how to use properly the logic analyzer for sniffing and re building up reconstructing communications um glitching nand glitching for example and then of course my trainings also do have uh, a certification connected and related exam including a voucher exam including the price uh, of the training itself and a con ch ch challenge coin with a unique serial number connected to your uh, certification certificate so it's all unique and of course what i wanted to to give to give back to the community with these kind of trainings is to create a, a sustainable uh, training fairly priced uh, also for students that's why it's half price uh, compared to the original one and you know there are some restrictions to it or constraints so you the candidates the student must be uh, at most 25 years old and still enrolled at, in a university or you know just has to have finished quite recently the university so you know it, it, it needs to be considered a student to 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 enroll and you know to to ask for uh, this kind of you know half percent discount but you know this is a way i am trying to push more and more um, students and you know to get into this lovely world of uh, hardware hacking and IoT security and high IoT security and so on and so forth. So, I if you if you just have a look at the videos um, of these uh, here, uh, where I explain more in details about this training and also the overview of the training. And if you like it, just ping me or if you have some feedbacks or questions, you know how to reach me. So again. I hope you will enjoy a uh, uh, bruschetta board and pizza bite. For any questions, you know how to reach me. Take care. Bye.
and pack responsibly.